In this video, I want to talk about solving multi-step equations. First, the idea of solving multi-step equations. When solving multi-step equation, you want to simplify one or both sides of the equation and then use inverse operations to isolate the variable. Keep in mind the golden rule of algebra. Do unto one side of the equation what you have done to the other. Example one, solve an equation by combining like terms. We're going to solve 8x minus 3x minus 10 equals 20. So the first thing we're going to do is just rewrite the equation. So it's going to be 8x minus 3x minus 10 equals 20. 8x and 3x can be combined, so that can be combined into 8x minus 3x will give me 5x minus 10 equals 20. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start isolating the variables. So we're going to add 10 to both sides. So we're going to be left with 5x equals 30. Last step, we're going to divide 5 on both sides. And we left with x equals 30 divided by 5 equals 6, and we are done. If we plug 6 into our original equation, it will be 8 parentheses 6 minus 3 parentheses 6 minus 10 equals 20. 8 times 6 is 48. 3 times 6 is 18. Minus 10 equals 20, and this will five into 40 minus 18 would be 30 minus 10 would be 20, so that gives me 20 equals 20. And we check out and we are done. Example two, solve an equation using the distributive property. So we're asked to solve 7x plus 2 parentheses x plus 6 equals 39. So first thing we're going to do is rewrite the original equation. So that would be 7x plus 2 parentheses x plus 6 equals 39. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to distribute the 2 in. And just rewrite it. 7x plus 2 times x will be 2x plus 2 times 6 is going to be 12 equals 39. Next, combine my like terms. 7x plus 2x can give me 9x plus 12 equals 39. Now we're going to start solving. Subtract 12 from both sides. So we're left with 9x equals 39 minus 12, which would be 27. And then last step, we're just going to divide both sides by 9. So that's going to give me x equals 27 divided by 9 is 3. So we plug into our original equation. We can confirm that we got the correct answer. So 7 parentheses 3 plus 2 parentheses 3 plus 6 equals 39. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 3 plus 6 is 9, so 2 times 9 will be 18, equals 39, and 21 plus 18 would be 39, so 39 equals 39, and we check out, so our correct answer is x equals 3, and we're done. Example 3, we'll find the missing step. Find the equation that represents step two in the pro solution process. So our original equation was 5x minus 4x minus 3 equals 17. So to get to step two, all we have to do is use the distributive property. So we distribute the negative 4x in, so it's going to be 5x minus 4x, and then negative 4 times 3 is going to be plus 12 equals 17. And we see if we can continue solving 5x minus 4x will give you 1x or just x plus 12 equals 17, then we're done. Because if we subtract 12 from both sides, we get x equals 5. And we are done, example 3. Example 4, multiply by a reciprocal to solve an equation. We're going to solve 
3 halves times 3x plus 5 equals negative 24. So first thing we're going to do is rewrite the equation. Plus 5 equals negative 24. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. 3 halves was just 2 thirds. So we're going to be left with 3x plus 5 equals negative 24 times 2 thirds is going to give me negative 16. That's what we're going to do. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides. Now we're just going to divide by 3. We're going to get x equals negative 7. If we plug negative 7 to our original equation, we can confirm that this is the correct solution. So 3 halves, 3 times negative 7 plus 5 should give me negative 24. 3 times negative 7 is going to be negative 21 plus 5 times 3 halves, negative 24 plus 5 is going to, 21 plus 5 is going to give me negative 16. And we're going to multiply that by 3 halves. And 3 halves times negative 16 will give me a negative 24. So we did work out and x equals negative 7 is our correct solution. And example five, write and solve an equation. This is about bird migration. A flock of cranes migrates from Canada to Texas. The cranes take 14 days, 236 hours to travel 2,500 miles. The cranes fly an average speed of 25 miles per hour. How many hours of migration are the cranes not flying? So first thing we want to do is sub an equation. Remember, our basic equation is going to be distance equals rate times time. So my distance we know is 2,500 miles. My rate is going to be 25 miles per hour. And we know it takes 336 hours to travel. So 336 minus T is to represent the time not spent flying. So we can either use the distributed property or we can just divide by 25 right away. And we're going to be left with 100 equals 336 minus T. We'll subtract 336 from both sides. And we're going to be left with negative 226 equals, sorry, 236 equals negative t. So that means t has to equal to positive 236. And we are done. We could also solve this using distributive property. And if we plug this into our original equation, just to check, 2500 equals 25 times 336 minus 226. That's be 2,500 equals 25 times 36, 336 minus 226, which is 100. So we're gonna get 2,500 equals 2,500. And it checks out and we are done. Hopefully this helps you understand how to solve multi-step equations. We'll see you in the next video where we talk about solving 
equations with variables on both sides of the equation.